brass frame revolvers. Do they stretch out over time? Do they become loose? No. And yes. <laughs> I'll explain what I mean. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. explain what I mean, I'll use this Pieta reproduction of the Griswold and Gunnison revolver to demonstrate. You can see it is a brass frame gun, and I've heard it said many times that when you shoot brass frame guns, the recoil can cause this brass frame to stretch out, eventually causing the cylinder to be loose and be able to slide back and forth, and eventually get bad headspace issues and maybe even safety issues. Well, let me go ahead and take the barrel off, and we'll talk a little bit about what's going on. Just pull out my wedge, remove the barrel. Now with the hammer at half cock, I can move the cylinder. Now this brass, it's not actually stretching, and I don't even know if I would call it a misconception when it gets said stretching, so much as maybe just a figure of speech. I'm sure if I go back through all of my videos, there may be times when I've warned about brass frames stretching, when that's really not exactly what's happening. But as I said, I also said yes because they can become loose. Now let's take a look at the back of the cylinder. If you look at these little sharp points here that the hand uses, and also these safety notches, and just these big chunks of steel between the nipples, when the gun recoils, that cylinder can slam back into the frame, causing wear on this outer ring and also on that inner ring down there next to the arbor, digging into it, especially if you're using hotter loads. Lighter loads, you may never see an issue, but with hotter loads, you could. And then, this is going to be able to slide more, and you get this sort of wiggling. This is exaggerated, but you'll see that wiggle in between the barrel and the back of the frame. So it's not that it's stretching out, it's just that it can dig in and create more space. Now, I've heard of people doing things like putting steel washers in there, but if you do that, you're going to have to find a way to cut out to make room for the hand to still operate. I personally would never worry about this, especially because it's a 36 caliber. I'll just shoot it. Heaven forbid it wears out. Well, I might have to get another one. But also, another thing to consider, my understanding is that these modern brass frames are not actually entirely pure brass, and therefore might be a little stronger. But when you hear people talk about these brass frames stretching, I just want you to understand it's not so much that this is all stretching here, especially because... These Colt styles are pretty secure, and I know this isn't a Colt, but it's a Colt style. Pretty secure with the barrel and the wedge on this arbor, so there's not going to be a stretch like this. But again, you're just getting some digging in back there, making that room, which could cause the effect, and therefore the illusion of a stretched out frame. Now personally, if I'm buying a brass frame revolver, I'm going 36 caliber or smaller. My Griswold and Gunnison here, of course, is a 36 caliber, and if you've watched my shooting videos of it, you've seen that I shoot pretty light loads in it, and I expect that this is going to last for a very long time. If you have one in 44 caliber and you're careful with it, don't shoot it too much, use real black powder, the substitutes are more powerful, and keep the loads fairly light. I imagine that would last quite a while too, but you do need to be aware of the issue that I've talked about in this video today. Please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media, as well as where to find great Guns of the West products, including the new Cap and Ball Revolvers online course. Don't miss that. Thank you so much for watching.